Well, today I'm going to show you how to uh, charge your laptop, run a monitor, and uh, even uh, how I make uh, my labels in for my amulets on a circuit jar, all from uh, 12 volts. I uh, don't need an inverter. I do have a 3000 watt inverter, and I actually haven't turned it on for almost uh, nine months. So I'll show you it's uh, much more economical, uh, more energy efficient, and uh, we'll go from there. And excuse the cats running around in the background. They're uh, little kittens still and they create a lot of noise. So try to ignore those in the background. So first I'll show you my system. I have uh, two laptops. I've got one here. I've got my charge cable and it's plugged into my panel. I have my monitor it's also plugged into the panel in the back there and they both are running on a circuit that converts 12 volts to 19 volts and I'll show you what I did I've made a demo up uh, test model and uh, I'll show you that in just a few secs I'm gonna get it out for you well this is my uh, 12 volt to 19 volt converter just show you right there it uh, runs on uh, 5 amp. I've uh, tested it when I'm charging my laptop and it's usually running from anywhere from 2.5 to 3 amps. My monitor a couple amps. So I've had these uh, mounted in my ambulance for probably about 10 months now and uh, I bought this extra one just for the demonstration. I put uh, a plug on so I can plug a cigarette lighter adapter into it this is my output it's a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter uh, panel socket i'm just going to plug in my power right now i just like i said i soldered this in and what i did is uh, i made up cables for my uh my charger cable I'll just get out of this way I cut my uh, cable from my uh, charger to my uh, one laptop and so you can see here and I put on an inline 5.5 to uh, 2.1 millimeter plug and it's just soldered into place and I didn't have an inline, so I just put a panel on there, and there we have it. So I can plug this in when I do go to uh, AC. I can plug it in that way. If I want to plug it in from the ambulance or 12 volt system, I just plug it into here, and that'll charge my laptop. Simple. One of my monitor. I have. Uh, also have a a cricket joy. I think I called it circuit joy before, but it's a cricket joy that I do bought. And here it is. I'll zoom a, a little bit. And then I use this to uh, make all the uh, labels for my ambulance. And I've made a couple for a few other people. I do ha did have a 24 inch vinyl plotter, but it doesn't quite fit in the ambulance, so. I saw this, I thought it was perfect, small enough, easy to use, and I did the same thing. I had my transformer that came with the unit. I got a female socket I soldered into, and same as the male that I soldered into. You don't have to solder it in, you don't have the plugs, you can have plugs, connectors, terminals, whatever you want to do to uh, connect it. I just like to solder everything. So I don't need the transformer. And I'm going to plug into the back. Hook it up to my power supply. And there you go. Okay, I opened up the software package for my Cricut Joy. And 
it's called uh, Cricut Design Space, and uh, I've already uh, made my uh, two labels that are uh, names I want to get on. So, on every town I spend the night in, I always uh, make a label and stick it on the side of my ambulance. Uh, my goal is to uh, fill the whole thing. customize what I want this is what I do I just uh, want to make new names I, uh, just to change the uh, the names of the fonts of the town I'm in I'll go up and say make it I'm going to put it on a mat. I have two sizes of mats. I'll just, I have the, the 12 inch and the 6 inch. I'm making different labels. Uh, you can buy the uh, without the mat and the pre cut uh, on rolls for the uh, Cricut Joy. I have a whole bunch of uh, vinyl left over from uh, other projects. So uh, I just cut it to fit down. Like I said, I did have a 24 inch uh, plotter. So I'm gonna go on mat, just like that. And I'm going to sickle well, six and a half inch. I'm gonna go continue and uh, lay it out. I'm gonna go continue again. And it's gonna find my uh, unit. And um, I'm going to do Smart Permanent Vinyl. And now I have to uh, load it, so just give me a sec. I'm just going to stick the unit in. I'm going to move the power cord. And hit go. Program is preparing. And there we have it says that it's complete I'll select unload and it unloads the paper and then now I just have to weed it and I'll get out my weeding tool now normally I I have a couple tools I think I only have exacto knife with me I forgot to bring my weeding tools but uh, I'll show you how I do that in my finished product. I like to cut out the excess vinyl and also uh, trim down the, uh, the rows. So when I peel off the uh, vinyl, excess vinyl or cold weeding, I uh, just pull off one row at a time. I just shake the uh, vinyl as I'm pulling off. It seems to come off better. Uh, depends on the vinyl I use. Some comes off really easy and some I've had a hard time with. The smaller the writing, also the harder it is to get off. The odd time you have a letter stick, but uh, it works pretty good. So, getting this all done. And you can see the names coming out. It just does the excess. And uh, once I get all the, uh, the main off, then you will uh, we'll get the um, in between the letters you can see the cat I think that was Max in the background jumping up and down yeah it's having fun but uh, a stuck again might need a little adjustment on the cutting head but uh, that'll be good there 
that I'm just taking out in between the letters. It's pretty easy. I really like doing the X-Acto knife on this nice sharp blade. It's really easy to come off. And uh, that's uh, almost done. And there we have it. All I have to do is put the masking tape over top, then I'll cut the labels and I'll install that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about using the 12 volt to uh, 19 volt uh, DC to DC converter, I will be putting a link uh, to where I purchased it. I purchased these ones on Amazon. I'll do a link to the site. Where you can purchase them and uh also uh any questions you can always email my email address is always on the thing if you need to know about soldering the connectors on what i'll also put a link to the connectors i bought and if anybody needs some help with it just like say just give me a shout and i'd be glad to help thanks a lot thanks for watching